Today we're going to continue practicing multiplying with twos, threes, and fours and finding our missing factors. You're doing a great job so far. Just want to spend one more day on it to make sure you really understand it. So let's take a look at the differences between multiplying by two, multiplying by three, and multiplying by four. My first step when I'm multiplying by two, I'm going to notice that I have a factor of two. And then I'm going to look at my other factor, which is 6, and double that. So what doubling means is adding 6 to 6. And 6 plus 6 equals 12. Another way to look at this would be, notice I have two groups of 6. So 6 in each group. And then I would count those together, and I would get 12. <clears throat> so when you multiply with 3, it, the first step looks the same. So when you multiply by 3, you look and see you have a 3 as one of your factors. Then you look at your other factor, and you see that it's a 6. So I'm going to do my same first step that I did with my 2s and double the 6. So 6 plus 6, and that equals 12. But we're not done here. Since it's three sixes, I have a second step. And my second step is to add six. And when we add together our two numbers, we always start in our ones place. Two plus six equals eight, and one plus zero equals one. Another way to look at this one is, I see that I have three as my first factor, so that'd be three groups. And I have 6. 6 is my other factor, so I put 6 in each group. So I have 3 groups of 6, and then I would count those all together, and I would get a product of 18. Now when we're multiplying with 4s, we do the same step as we did with our 2s and our 3s first same step. So I notice I have a 4, so I'm going to look at my other factor, and my first step is to double the other factor. So I'm doubling my other factor. 6 plus 6 equals 12, but I'm not done, because that would just be 2 times 6, and I notice that we have 4 times 6. So a fun thing that you can do with your fours is double the double. So my double was 12. I'm going to double that. Here's my second step. So doubling 12 would be adding 12 to it. So now I have 12 plus 12. And whenever I add, I always add the first, the numbers in the ones column first. And 2 plus 2 equals 4. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And another way to look at this equation, I see that I have four groups, one, two, three, four, and I have six in each group, so four groups of six. And then I'm going to count those all together, six plus six plus six plus six, and I get an answer of 24. One more skill I would like to review is missing factors. So we did this last week and everybody was doing a really nice job with this. So we have three times blank equals 18 in this equation. So we have one of our factors and our product. We are missing a factor. So whenever we are missing a factor, we're gonna take the factor that we know and we're going to count by that until we get to our product. So we know we have a factor of 3. I'm going to find 18 on my number line, and I'm going to count by 3. So I have 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 12, 1, 2, 3, 15, and my last jump would be to 18. Then I'm going to look and see how many times I made the jump. I made the jump 1, 2, 3, four, five, and six 
time. So 3 times 6 equals 18. And if you don't want to use the number line, you can simply do a uh, skip count. You can do this in your head or on paper. So we have 3, 6. We're counting by 3s until we get to 18. When, once we get to 18, we stop. 9, 12, 15, and 18. So I got to 18, so I'm going to stop. And now I'm going to count how many times I counted by 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I got the same answer. 3 times 6 equals 18.